So what are some things we can do to help with mobility during travel or after travel? So this is after travel for me. Um, the areas that I get tight for me are hip area, lower back, uh, my shoulders, upper back, shoulders, and then my calves. So my ankles and the calf area will get tight. And so what we're gonna focus on right now is more calf stuff. So we're gonna do a test retest. test be here in this small lunge, and then I'm gonna lean forward, and I'm gonna just see how my mobility's doing. So I've been doing this for the uh, video, so my mobility's feeling really good. But when I first started, not too it was too tight. So I'm just finding these positions, testing that movement out. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start up high here, and I'm gonna work my way down, and then I'm gonna work on the outside, and the inside, and then even get it right up against the shin here. So I'll use the peaks right here, fine, get right in between here. I'm not going right behind in this crease right here. I can do real light stuff here, but nothing too intense pressure. There's not a whole lot of muscle there, and there's a lot of nerves and blood vessels. So we're just gonna go right below it, and then just start to just kind of move my knee left and right. And then I'm also going to move my ankles here. And when I find a spot, I'm going to just stay there and just hang out. And then I'll come out really nice and deep. About 30 seconds, 45 seconds, you should feel that area start to melt. You feel that area start to melt, move on to the next spot. But apply the test retest. So you're constantly kind of moving. Move, massage, move, massage, move, massage. So you can kind of see what potentially was the, the root cause of that tightness in that area you were working. Okay? And so when you another little technique too is that I'm staying on this spot, haven't moved, but it's starting to discomfort starting to lessen. So I'm gonna start to apply pressure and then start to shift. This is where the, the shearing, this is where you're getting that muscle to start to kind of come off of those other muscle fibers that's not meant to be stuck to. And that's the reason it's causing your tightness because these are stuck. So we're trying to get this to come off. Okay, next. Get up. Test this position. If I'm in this position here, I'm probably not gonna feel it so much up top because it's gonna work more of the lower part of my calf. So I don't wanna do more of a downward dog here to test that upper part so that I can start to feel what's being tied in this area. If I want to feel what's being tied in this lower part of my calf, I bend my knee and I come forward here, I can start to feel it going down. It's called your soleus down here. Okay, so good test retest, downward dog for the upper part. Here, shifting my hips left and right. I'll just apply that principle, either those two movements, either the bent knee or the straight leg downward dog, and work my way down my calf to start to get my mobility back. Okay, so doing here, I'm gonna work my way down, apply those same principles. I can move this peak around now. I can start to just shift left and right. And I'm not feeling much tightness, trigger points or any tightness in this lower part until I get into this middle part of the gas truck. It's a little tight. So I'm gonna stay right there for a little bit. Find a spot, find a spot. I can move my ankle around. And then I'll just stay here for another 30, 60 seconds here. Now, if I wanna work this whole inner part of my calf, right next to the shin, I just rotate my leg over. And then I can get Right in that little crease. And just feeling, so right there, this is where I feel the most tension. And so, pull my toe forward and back. This can also keep that blood flow moving in between those muscle fibers. Now that I found an area that is more tender than other areas, I'm gonna apply that test retest. Okay, feel like it's melted, so I'll do both the test retest. So I'll do the downward dog. 
So I haven't been doing this on my left leg and my, my left ankle. He isn't getting all the way down to the ground with my right ankle. It's getting all the way down to the ground and just feeling good. So then the next one, I'm gonna test this one. I think you're starting to open up more there too. Now if I wanna get into the outside, grab onto the peak, and then now I'm just gonna working my way up when you get up into here if i push in that area it's not a big deal but if you're pushing too hard there is a nerve there your body will tell you somebody will zing down your leg and it just doesn't feel that good so what i back off and i move to a different spot and so i'll play around where the peaks are at you can put it right in front of my leg so i'll put it right in front of my leg and then i'll push into it, put it in front, and push into it. Okay, and so now this one, since it's the outside part of the cap, I didn't do the test massage, or I didn't do the test before, but a good test here, just kind of playing around with like, all right, how does this feel on my ankle sideways? If I don't have this type of mobility in my ankle, then I'm susceptible to getting lower ankles a lot. So this can be a nice little test to feel how this outside of your calf is going for range of motion. Because if this is tight, this is going to cause issues here, where then now the only range of motion I have is just this. And the next thing I know, I hit a curve, now I just pulled my ankle. But if I can work that and strengthen it, shouldn't have any issues. I'll come back, do the same thing, work my way all the way down. Okay, so you can see kind of the, the rhythm here, the technique. Test, massage, retest. Find the area, and so like right here, it's more tender, I can just hang out. Here, a little bit, a little bit more, now I'm starting to have a good, a good pressure at 5 out of 10. And then, so I can just stay here, let that, let that muscle melt. And then we test the area. Okay. So I can do all the tests just to see how everything's doing. So when I do that test, I feel a lot more. My right side feels great, my left side feels tighter. Okay? So now I'll repeat this whole thing on the left side. And then now I'm feeling good, now I can start to work out. Feel better? Try that out.